the next step for us is to actually work down this timeline. Take the current menu, the new concept ideas, and we're gonna blend them together into TM 2.0. Yeah, let's do it. It's called Hot Dog in a Hallway, Fireman's Pole, down into a pit of water. It's fun, it's high, it's gonna challenge your fear of heights. Everyone loves sliding down a fire pole, but there's really not that many chances in everyday life to do it. It's called birth canal, and the idea is to go through a very small, tight channel um, where you're compressed on all sides, and then you birth out of the other side, uh, hence the name birth canal. Uh, when I was a kid, my brother used to pin me down like that. He'd like throw a blanket over me and press it down on all sides, and I have to try to squirm out. Terrifying. I think we have the opportunity to do the same thing for our participants. I definitely think Everest has a spot in the 2015 menu. If we want to take it to the next level, we have to change the profile of the obstacle. It's something like a waterfall actually coming off the top of the obstacle. And what I'm thinking is we try two different profiles, a, a curved back feature on Everest, so you're actually running up and you have to reach overhead to grab it. The second feature is going to be a rounded top. So you actually have to go up and crown over the top slightly and then have your team help you that way. What you're suggesting is there's no ledge? Yeah, but it's basically. just round? Yeah, basically. My recommendation for Walk the Plank iteration is a rope swing off of it. Taking that same obstacle that we have in Walk the Plank, adding an element of both fun and tough to it. Never done anything like this before, and nobody's doing anything like this, and yeah. I think a lot of people want the experience of like a rope swing, which should be that yeah. outlet for people to say, you know, I want to go do Tough Mudders because I want to do badass rope swings. You know, it's one of those things that no one really wants to do, but they sort of want to do it, and they, they definitely want to tell people that they've done it. So it's Crybaby, um, where we, we plan to tear gas people. So we know what we want here. We want it to be highly visual. We want it to be a very intense experience that really hits people. Um, we've been thinking through a little bit what chemicals we might use. We spoke to some of the people in the office that are ex-military people at research universities, people in Brazil who make an alternative to pepper spray. But we have to be very cognizant of side effects. We want this to be like a quick hit, but the full experience of what being tear gassed is like without the long term. Um, some of the dangerous effects. First things first, we've got to find that gas. So we have to find the gas we're going to use, and then we can find a way to make this thing work. The goal really is get into the air, get it into a visible cloud of smoke. You're essentially saying if you want to continue to call yourself a Tough Mudder, we're going to have this new thing, this tear gas, and you're going to have to make the same decision when you hit electroshock or when you hit Arctic Enema. This year, I'm going to punch my card as a Tough Mudder again because those bastards at Tough Mudder came up with something completely new. Yeah. I think it's sick, but I like it.